From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of evenings, LA, with incredible great news tonight about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. As we rush into the month of February, the exciting great news is that CR for stimulus is heating up with the opportunity to get a stimulus check out sooner than the Build Back Better Act. I have the latest details direct from Santa Monica, California tonight in your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. But is there an opportunity for Joseph Biden to get out more money to the American people? On top of that, I have the latest details tonight on well, as we look at this stimulus, much of which can be done by executive decree. Wow. This is new, you're here for the first time, and it's only tonight on Evenings LA. We're gonna go over the incredible great news about the Build Back Better Act passed in the House of Representatives back in the month of November and what you should expect for the next two weeks with the push underway to get it over the finish line. The set of changes will be robust. We'll look at those checks that has at least $15,000 so far. MSE going on top of that. And then third stimulus will remain repeated under fourth stimulus, but I'm showing you in this video how you can get thousands of dollars right now from third stimulus. Student loan debt forgiveness, the latest details on that. Plus, plus, this stimulus, could it go by executive order? Oh boy. As we go into a beautiful sunset here in the Santa Monica shores, that's the pier you're looking at right there. I have a lot of news across the board. Plus, what is Jay Powell looking for? Is he looking for five interest rate hikes? in the month of in the in the year of 2022 boy this is breaking news and what happened to that consumer sentiment report on friday it was no bueno those surprising details plus we'll jump into the metaverse for just a signal as there's new indication that advocacy for all your incredible money in this recon is working i have all the incredible details on that it's a big night and we'll look as why the progressives are not perhaps helping the situation on the fourth stimulus recon, but perhaps helping the seats for stimulus. It's all brand new, it's all evenings, it's all tonight. Get ready. It's a big, bold, beautiful night. I'm excited you're here. We run into the evening with exciting details of Evenings LA, and the excitement starts right now, direct from Santa Monica, California, on a beautiful sunset. Hey, good evening, everybody. I hope you are good and safe. Well, here we go. The recon passed in the House of Representatives in November. Now in the Senate, the Senate changes will be robust. They'll add more checks to this recon that already has about $15,000 of checks. I'm going to show you every check. Get your pen and paper ready. Stay to the very end. I have a lot of checks, but no time or place to wait for four stimulus, I'm going to show you how you get thousands of dollars tonight. Yeah, that's what I do. I get people money. If you're new to this channel, this is L8, number three most watched financial news channel in America, where people get millions of dollars every so days. Then we can go over the big money for student loan debt forgiveness, fifth stimulus, what you need to know about that, plus this new syndication that maybe the Federal Reserve could have seven interest rate spikes in the year 2022. My goodness, I have all the details tonight, plus my analysis of why the president can get more money out in your hands faster than you ever thought before. It's all tonight. It's all direct from Santa Monica, California. It's all deliciousness. And with that, I want you part of this channel. You are watching, my friends, LA Light, the number three most watched financial news channel in America, live in the morning, taped in the afternoons. Coming up tonight is a whole slate of programming. Hit that subscribe button. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Let's look at this incredible money in the Build Back Better Act that passed in November, now in the Senate. Those checks are a lot. There is at least $15,000, but likely over $60,000 of checks, you heard me right, in this recon that you can get. Get a pen and paper ready because I want you to know every single one of those checks starting right now. Three clusters, three add-ons, and we're going to look at the first cluster starting 
with cluster number one, Hazarpay. That got in there under the third stimulus package, extended under the fourth stimulus package for my earned income tax credit, EIC. You can learn it at irs.gov for my essential workers. Wow. $4,000 of elder care. $4,000 to care for young children. $550 check for the Pell Grant recipients. Got it in there as well. $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. Then $3,600 for, the per- for a new child or a, a young child in a low-income family. They got in their home repairs across the board as well. Wow, that is a lot of money. And it's all in the incredible first of three clusters. Now, as we turn to the second cluster of checks, before we do, guess what? There is a first add-on, and it comes from here in Southern California. Maxine Waters, the illustrious senator, House member, got it in there. And how much did she get? A little bit under 25000 This is money for the purchase of your first home. Whoa. Yes, you're hearing me in the right. This is money given from the U.S. government to the seller at the time of escrow. In your name, it's a little bit less than 25000 and it's free money. It's a big cash check. Let's go now to that second cluster of checks. It gets even better. Home repairs, this is to weatherize your home. And paid leave, my goodness, the paid leave is a lot of money, folks. How much money is it? If you make $75,000 or more per year, you're going to get $1,700 a week. If you make $35,000 or more per year, per year, $800 a week. $15,000 annual salary, $400 a week. How many weeks? 46 weeks per year. Who gets it? The concept of paid, leaves, if paid leave is if you're sick or a household member is sick, they are going to get a check for every week they're out. So if you don't work, but your son or daughter does work, then guess what? If they have to take off from work because you're sick and you don't work, but they do, they're gonna get the check for the household. Wow, that's incredible. W2-1099, it's huge, and it's the second cluster of checks. The second add-on of checks comes from Pennsylvania. The illustrious Bob Casey, the wonderful center, got that provision in there, and what is it? $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Wow. Which brings us then to the third cluster of checks. You're ready for the true deliciousness of it all? <laughs> Here we go. We got in there. Free internet. Also, the money for the farmers. The money for the independent contractors. $550 Pell Grant check. And then the free school meals for all checks. But the seniors. Two checks added on the House side. Three that would come on the Senate side. On the House side. The Medicaid gap fix, more about that second, and the hearing check on the Senate side. Three more checks that would be added, keyword is would be, they are dental vision and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, which is par for the course of what we're talking about with the third add-on of checks. You know what it is. If you're in the live chat right now, write the three letters. I think you know what they are. That third add-on of checks is MSC. Joe Biden made it very clear in the last seven days he wants these checks to go out as quick as possible in this fourth stimulus recon. Let's go over what MSC is, how it works, who gets it, the eligibility, and everything you need to know. MSC refers to monthly IRS stimulus check. Now, there are multiple checks in this recon, so we need to differentiate this from that so you don't get confused. The recon has 15000 to sixty thousand dollars of checks across it for you but this is a separate instrument that would send you out a monthly stimulus check from irs okay the legislators have told the senators have told viewers of channel since the month of may that you're going to get it if you got a third stimulus check eligibility is the same as a third stimulus check so let's go over the details right now single individual seventy five thousand or less annual income you get it married couple hundred fifty thousand or less annual income you get it double it if you're a family of four, quadruple it. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security Railroad benefits, you would get it as well. The MSC is not income. It's not taxable. That means that if you got it, you don't have to pay taxes on it. What else do you need to know? Adult dependents would get it. It's nationwide. It's offered across the country. It goes off of your last tax return. So if that tax return had direct deposit, you're going to get it as well. What about the amount? Well, the senators have told viewers of the channel, it's going to be the following. $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months across the board. The senators have vowed to add it in there and have told tens of thousands of viewers of the channel who are the new source going to the source, the senators, and being told it's going in there. 
And who are those senators? Those are senators you want to advocate to because guess what? They have a lot of stuff they want to add in there, including this across the board. Those senators who said they want to put it in there are the following. They are Casey Coons, Warren Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. Let's meet them and meet what they want to do for this incredible recon that's far from over. Those senators are, here we go, Casey, <laughs> Coons, Warren, Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. They vow to add the MSC and keep all the additional provisions in there across the board. Now, what's important to understand is that these senators have a lot to add to this recon, and they're not done with that yet. So with that, let's turn now to where the recon is. What is CR for stimulus? Is there opportunity for the president to send out more money to right away today? And is there more money on top of that the president could send out? It's brand new tonight. And we can go over the details starting right now. First, where is the recon, the Build Back Better Act, the BBB, the Force Simulus Package? It is in the Senate. It passed in the House in November. It's now in the Senate. And the Senate changes have not happened yet. They would happen when they send a sub Senate subcommittee. They make the modifications, adding additional checks. Now, every time you see a recording that says Force Simulus Check Updated 2021, guess what? This is 2021. The recon, it's thousands of pages long. All those checks are staying in there. So you need to know those recordings. The senators would add additional checks on top of that as well. So they would add it during subcommittee before they have a bill. Then they have a bill. Then they send it to Senate floor vote, and then they vote on it. Pretty easy? Yeah, pretty easy. Then they have a two-day vote of But is there an opportunity to get a check out sooner than that? There is. And it's tonight's recording, we're going to learn that there may be multiple opportunities to get you more money right today without even using what I just covered, the Build Back Better Act. Number one, cease for stimulus. Number two, executive decree. And number three, another type of executive decree. It's all in tonight's recording. We're going to start first with CR for stimulus. And breaking news from Pramila Jalapal that shows us why we have to do CR for stimulus. CR for Simulus was first debuted on this channel in December 2020 as a creation by me. I had been covering first stimulus checks ending and the start of second stimulus in spring of 2020. Second stimulus was supposed to be a very big body of legislation, thousands of pages in length. The negotiators were Nancy Pelosi on behalf of the Democrats, Steve Mnuchin, then Treasury Secretary, on behalf of the Republicans. They negotiated in the spring. Nothing happened. Then the summer. Then the fall. Then the winter. By the winter, nothing had happened. And I saw a common theme. Negotiating, no deal, no deadline. And I said, that's the problem. The problem is they don't have an inherent deadline to get it done. So in December 2020, I came up with an idea off camera. I said, what if I could get a stimulus check into something else, another body of legislation that has a deadline? So I looked high and low and I found one continuing resolution, also called CR, also called budget bill. There's a lot of different names for it. Every few months, the federal government must do the continuing, continuing resolution bill that funds the federal government. It funds the national parks, the federal buildings, how they operate. The reason I liked it was because it has a deadline. As a deadline, they can't miss it. Maybe they miss it by a few days or maybe a week, but they don't miss it by a few months because otherwise the government shuts down and defaults. No one wants that to happen, even, even Republicans. So I said, this is a perfect body of legislation to get a stimulus check into something else. So I prepared what was good with this, and I prepared what the reaction negative would be to it, and I made the first recording. I went on air in December 2020. I said, hey, it's LA again. I have an idea. What about a stimulus check in this body of legislation called a continuing resolution? It is a deadline. They have to do it. The next deadline is September 2020. They have to do it. They won't roll it over for three months because they're not allowed to. And if you get that check in there, it'll go out in December and you'll get in December or January. Moreover, I, I don't see where Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi are going with this. We've been doing this for 11 months. Second stimulus. Why not do this? Viewers, Purple Power, the viewership of this channel, love the idea. And as soon as I delivered the message, they went and started pushing the hashtag campaign that I created for, on this channel. Hashtag C, hashtag, then R, the number four, stimulus, S-T-I-M-U-L-U-S. If you're in the live chat right now, write it out. Remember, it's stimulus with all U's, no A's. 
As soon as I made the first recording, here came the negative comments. Exactly what I expected it was going to say. It's a continuing resolution. It's a budget bill to fund the federal government that's not for money for the American people. It's money for the federal government, not the American people. It doesn't belong in there, they said. <laughs> I was ready for my response. My response was, you're right. You're exactly right. It doesn't belong in there. It's not supposed to be for our money. But who cares? Since the start of time, Congress has passed legislation where they put bills out with provisions in there that don't belong in there. During the pandemic, they had several COVID relief bills where they put money into COVID relief bills that wasn't about COVID. They had money for foreign military governments, not about COVID. They had money for building a new FBI building, not COVID. And they had money for the Department of Copyrights, not COVID. And it was not a copyright for COVID either. And I said, if it doesn't belong in there, who cares? Because you never send, you never uh, stay to that point. If you're not, if you're sending out money that doesn't belong to COVID issues, why not also send out money for us that does concern our abilities to deal with COVID? So we pushed and we pushed. And initially we woke up one morning and they said, yeah, we're putting stimulus in the CR. We thought we got it until we saw that they were putting an extension of unemployment benefits. Not that what we wanted. Good call, but not close enough. So we pushed back. And finally, it happened. We woke up. And finally, they woke up. They did exactly what we'd asked for. The $600 stimulus check that Americans got in December 2020 in the continuing resolution was my idea and my sole creation. The second stimulus package never became law, never got voted on, never had a stimulus check, never finished over the finish line. Americans never got a penny for the second stimulus package. It never happened. The $600 stimulus check you got in December 2020 was inserted into continuing resolution as my idea, and that became a law. So two Saturdays ago, I went on air. I said, hey, one Saturday ago, I, said, I went on air. I said, why not do this again? Do you want to do it again? Let's compare and contrast. 2020, 2022. Does it look sort of the same? It does. It's been 11 months of negotiating in both situations. It's been two people negotiating both situations. It's been dragging on for both situations. Both situations, no deadline. This time, we have a February 2022 deadline of a continuing resolution. You want to do it again? You do. And I made the comment, and then we rocked and rolled. We delivered on air on this channel one Saturday ago, and viewers have been really happy about that CR for stimulus. Pushing to get it in there, one stimulus check, right now in a continuing resolution budget bill, and still trying to get the Build Back Better Act passed. But in new comments that came in from Pramila Jalapal overnight, these are brand new, and I just dropped them. These are brand new, but I know them by heart. You're going to see why you're going to want the CR for stimulus a lot more than the Build Back Better Act. Plus, in tonight's evening daily, we're going to go over why the president has opportunities, not one, but two, to get money to you right now, not using... Kristen Sinema, Joe Manchin, progressives, moderate Democrats, or any recon. He can do it very simply, and he should do it right now. And I'm going to make, help you make the push for it this evening. Then we turn back to all these incredible checks, this incredible recon. We'll turn to third stimulus, how you can get money right now. I'm going to feature that a lot in tonight's recording, how you can get thousands of dollars right now. We'll be looking at what's going on with Jay Powell. Is it going to be five interest rate spikes in 2022? Oh, my goodness. That consumer uh, sentiment. Consumer spending sentiment that came in last Friday. Bad news. What does it mean for your recon? I'll have all the analysis. It's a big evening, Zalai, with a lot of breaking news. As you can tell, I'll be back with you in 60 seconds with the continuation of CR for stimulus and a new twist you've never seen before until tonight. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m.
Home LL8 returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA late. And the excitement continues right now, directly from Santa Monica, California, with your, your evenings LA continuation. In the second half of this video, we're gonna go over why CFR for stimulus makes more sense right now before those Senate changes happen to that recon. That could add additional checks on top of 15,000 and on top of third stimulus of 45,000. We'll be looking at student loan debt for again as the latest details on that in tonight's recording. Plus, what's going on with this stimulus? We'll be looking back over that tonight as well. So many details across the board you need to look at. And this one could go by executive order, my goodness. Then we'll be turning to whether the Federal Reserve is going to be doing five interest rate spikes in 2022. My Lord, what is going on? Then we'll be turning to that consumer sentiment, price sentiment that came last Friday. It was no bueno. What does it mean for you? Of all the analysis on that tonight across the board, it's a big evening. I'm excited you're here. But first, I want you part of this channel. So go into this video right now and subscribe. You're watching LA. The number three most watched financial news channel in America. Sign up for those LA alerts, totally free. The link is under the video, so you do not miss a video or alert when it happens. Meantime, sign up for, be, be sure you become a subscriber, totally free. Sign up as a subscriber right today, so you do not miss any video. Like the video and consider becoming a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP across the board. And with that, let's go into the second half of tonight's recording with the continuation of CR for Stimulus with understanding why it makes more sense tonight than even less than 24 hours ago. Well, what has happened in the last five days and even almost seven days? We first had Ron Klain with issues about the progressives. Then we had Bernie Sanders with issues with the progressives. And tonight, major issues with Pramila Jalapal with about the progressives once again. Signaling we really need the CR for stimulus. Let me tell you what Pramila Jalapal's latest comments are tonight. She says that she believes that the recon, the Build Back Better Act, will call to a vote in the Senate on March by March 1st. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Pamela. You have no idea what you're talking about. Now, remember, Pamela Jalapa is a House member. She's not a senator. She doesn't determine when things go for a vote in a body of Congress she doesn't even work in. And she doesn't even determine the voting process Chuck Schumer does. So who is she to randomly choose a date? Now, if there's one thing viewers of this channel do not like, is when someone just gives you a date and you don't know what the significance of the date is. Here she is literally just picking, pulling a, a date off a calendar and saying, the recon will go for a vote by March 1st. She's not calling the vote. She don't work in the Senate. She has nothing to do with the senators. She doesn't even know what the, what's going on with them at any moment. So for her to do it is really not a good look for a legislator. And guess who doesn't like it? Nancy Pelosi, who's also not a senator. Nancy Pelosi, who works aside Jalapal as the Speaker of the House, said that Jalapal's March 1st date is an aspirational date, meaning it's just what she aspires to have, Pramila. It's not a real date. Well, I'm going to go in a little bit deeper on this, which is what Nancy Pelosi was getting to, is that Pramila, by giving you a March 1st date, makes it sound like she's doing, as a House member, something in the Senate <laughs> with the Senate bill between now and March 1st. She ain't doing anything. So she ain't doing jacks. So I don't know where she is even making people seem to look excited about a date that doesn't even exist in reality. Um, so her place, of, uh, her time or place to give us a date or to tell us what's happening, no. Are progressives doing anything between now and March 1st? No, she doesn't detail that either. That is Pramla tonight. Last night and the night before, Democrats were really angry at Bernie Sanders. What did Bernie Sanders do? Senator, progressive, Democrat. What did he do? He said the following. The moderate Democrats provision of the salt cap was removed. When? <laughs> when, Bernie? Uh, just, uh, yeah, it, it, it was removed, honestly. It really was removed, honestly, LA was removed. It was never removed. 
<laughs> then people ask him, when was the move? During negotiations. Who's negotiations? There's been no negotiations, Bernie. Well, uh, you want some Tylenol? <laughs> Bernie, uh, you get, put down the the tomato juice. It's, 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 there's been no negotiations. Who removed it? So people are just wondering what was going on here. It's literally looking a little wacko. And then it got even worse. Bernie said, well, the salt cap uh, uh, gives big money to rich people. It doesn't. <laughs> It's not for rich people. It doesn't do anything for rich people. Uh, and then he says it hurts people. It doesn't hurt anyone. This came less than 48 hours after we had heard that the president chief of staff, Ron Clay, and had said, you know what? Uh, I love Pramila, and I talk to her, you know, 7,000 hours a day. But Joe Manchin, uh, here's another press, here's another 20 press releases. Send them all out and talk about how bad Joe Manchin is. You see a reoccurring theme here? Yeah, the reoccurring thing here is that the progressives look like they're getting uh, inebriated. <laughs> Just that there's no other way to say it. They look like they've lost it. And I have no idea what's going on. That is why CR for stimulus makes so much more sense. Why? We are away from the progressive versus moderate Democrat issue. <laughs> We're away from Joe, Na Joe Manchin and Chris Sinema. We're just doing a normal budget bill. We just happen to slide a stimulus check in there. Thank you. Have a good evening. I'm sneaking out the door while the check goes out the door. Now, it's very simple. This, this thing is getting a little bit so insanely uh, out of control that progressive Democrats are looking a little weird. Uh, that's a very polite way. They look like they just had a, too, a couple too many. Um, now, CR for stimulus look a lot better tonight. It does because CR for stimulus does not involve pitting progressive versus modern Democrats against each other. Second, it has a timeline. February, the, the timeline of Pramla, uh, March, yeah, we just chose the date off the calendar. Can you choose a date? Yeah, March, I like that. It sounds March. Yeah, it sounds like we're marching. Yeah, let's just... Um, uh, it sounds like Les Miserables. Okay, March, March, or March. Okay, I choose March. Give me a number, a positive number. One, I like one. We'll say March 1. That, they'll put out the press release, March 1. <laughs> That's what she's doing. I mean, come on. We can't do this anymore, folks. We need real dates that, that are solidified in normality, not faux reality. And... That is why the CR for stimulus, where we're trying to get money into a budget bill that has to be done by February, makes sense. Now, what also makes sense tonight, and you're hearing for the first night time, time tonight in Evening's Outlight, the President of the United States has one, two other opportunities to get you money really quickly. And he should be doing at least the first one, and he could potentially be doing the second one. What's at issue? The first one is the easiest. The president has the authority under the Constitution, he's already done it before, to change thresholds, benchmarks, qualifications for existing programs where the qualifications are within the authority of the agency that runs them. And which ones are we talking about? Case in point, what, let's use an example, what he did in October of last year. It was SNAP. He picked up the phone and contacted the Department of Agriculture and said, you know what, I don't think you're paying enough money for SNAP. So you're in charge of the eligibility for SNAP and how you do it. Um, it's not by act of Congress, it's by an agency. You have the authority to determine it. I'm telling you, I want you to pay more money. And he did. And they're now paying 25% lifetime more money. It did not require an executive order, did not require an act of Congress. All requires a phone call. Can he do it again? He can. What can he do it with? most, almost all, of fifth stimulus. Now, the easiest part of fifth stimulus he can do is the benchmark. All he has to do with fifth stimulus, if you don't know what it is, let me tell you what fifth stimulus is, is to give you more money if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security Rare Oil Benefits. We always talk about fifth stimulus as fifth stimulus recon, another recon. But the easiest way to get money in people's pockets right now is to do part of fifth stimulus without a recon. Do it by picking up the phone. What does he do? He calls up to the Department of Social Security and says, your current, breach, birch, <laughs> your current benchmark is COLA. Replace it, effective December, uh, replace it effective March 2022 with inflation. Done. Finish. Have a great day. What does that do for you? It gives you several percents, percent more per month on your check. Here's the example. 
in December 2021, the COLA benchmark was announced at 5.9%. At that time, inflation was 7.5%. It's still 7.5%. It may be a little bit even higher today. Had they done this then, you would have gone from December, your December amount check to today's check. Instead of going up 5.9%, you would have gone up 7.5%. An additional approximately 3% more. Now, the president could do this overnight. He can pick up the phone and contact and said, hey, you know what? We're getting rid of COLA. We're doing the new benchmark of inflation. COLA is a benchmark upon which they determine whether to raise your benefits up each year. And COLA has been 0% for many, many years. The only reason it gave you 5.9% this year, COLA, is because inflation is really high. But inflation is better. And it's the benchmark they want to use for fist stimulus recon. But they don't need to do a recon to change the benchmark. You just pick up the phone. And instantly, your benefits checks, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or Real Benefits, would go up about 2 to 3% every month starting next month if he did it right today. It's done. It's simple. There's more money for you, especially my seniors. It's a lot more than SS200. All right, that is the first item. The second item he absolutely can do if he has the money. I don't know if he has the money. If he does have it, send me a private message. It's called repurposing existing funds. Let's go over what's at issue. The President of the United States cannot walk into the Department of Treasury, open the door, grab a, grab a wad of cash, and throw it out in the mail to you. He can't do that. The President cannot take out money from the Department of Treasury and send it to you by executive order. Forbidden. But he can do this. He can go to an agency and say, oh, you have extra money sitting around from a program that was passed by Congress, the program is over, and there's extra cash sitting around, you can have that money repurposed by my instructions for another purpose. Here's the examples. Two were at issue under the Trump administration. One happened and one didn't happen, but should have happened. The first one was the following. During the early days of COVID, FEMA was given a lot of money by the federal government. FEMA. It had leftover money, so Donald Trump picked up the phone. No executive order, no executive decree, just a phone call, and said, FEMA, you have extra money sitting around. Millions of Americans, their unemployment boost has run out, FPUC. So I want to do a replacement for boost for, for FPUC. It will be called LWA. You have extra FEMA money. You're going to send out that money to the states, and the states will disperse it as they want this will be extra unemployment benefits. I'm repurpose, repurposing your FEMA money as unemployment benefits. Novel? It's been done for many, many years. The president has authority to do it, and it happened. It became, it became a reality in fall of 2020. Well, in late fall of 2020, this is the one the president, then Donald Trump, should have done. He didn't, and it likely cost him the election. There was $550 billion of money sitting around at the Small Business Administration left over from first and second stimulus that was allocated for businesses. Those programs ended, but the money was still sitting there under Javita Carranza headed SBA's dominion. I made the recordings, lots of them, that Donald Trump should repurpose that money as well and send it out as a stimulus check. He didn't, and it was a big blunder. So can Joe Biden do this as well? He absolutely can do it. The only thing I don't know is whether there is enough money extra sitting around to be repurposed. If you found that money, send me a private message. There was a lot of talk in 2020 of extra money seen around, so it was easier then. Then I had confirmations from Larry Kudlow, and I had a lot of counting reports that said this is the amount. I had the actual calculations where it was. We don't see that type of detail right now. Not to say it's not there, but this is why it makes so much sense across the board. And with that, let's go back into the Build Back Better Act that will get passed by the House of Representatives in the next few weeks. So what's important to understand is that there's a lot of money. We're going to go over all these incredible checks, pull your pen and paper out, because guess what? Remember that these are checks that were passed in 2011 and are staying, 2021, and are staying in there even as the senators make modifications because they're not going to remove any checks. They're going to just add to them. And they have in there cheaper prescription medication. Starting with 20 medications is day one, growing to 2028 with 30 medications. Medicare Part B, D, cancer, arthritis, diabetes, the most expensive medications. They got $40 billion of free job training checks in there. They got in there the incredible 
uh, salt cap raised at seventy-two thousand five hundred dollars. What you can duck and seeing local taxes from ten thousand. They got the Medicaid gap fix, allowing twelve Republican holdout states that aren't providing low uh, uninsured people uh, benefits. Now they'll be providing them medical coverage to those uninsured low-income individuals in those Republican holdout states. They got in their housing, which are going to go over a second, and then they got in there the Pell Grant $550 check for my college students, $12,500 check for the electric vehicle, and then they got a lot of provisions from third stimulus that are repeated, like the hazard pay, the earned income tax credit and also the child care of the CTC. But now let's turn to really one of the best provisions at issue, which is the continuation of provision from third stimulus, and guess what it is? It's housing. When third stimulus became a law, my view is this channel had already gotten this money in the months beforehand, but it wasn't a third stimulus. It was rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. As soon as third stimulus became a law, in January 2021, I told viewers this channel, I think you can get about 15000 The average view of this channel got $45,000 of checks under third stimulus. Now, the there's a lot of very bad, lazy, but overpaid journalists out there who literally have written ad nauseum that third stimulus from January 2021 only had a $1,400 stimulus check in there and just one check. They're wrong. They're categorically wrong. I have millions of viewers who have disproven them wrong and showed them that they shouldn't be journalists. They don't know what they're doing. They told Americans that there was $1,400 and that's it and there's nothing else in the third stimulus package. There was all this money for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and viewers were able to get it had they mentioned it in their reporting, but they didn't. I did. The average view of this channel got on average $45,000. That was the first round in spring of 2021. Summer 2021, I said, get another round. It's this new summer month. Some viewers did. December 2021, most viewers got a big round, 15,000. We call the scripts of stimulus. This is where viewers got in December and November and maybe January this month. This was rent and more. But guess what? You can get another round today. We're starting with the rent to get that pen paper ready. If you're a member of this channel, I want you to follow along with that newsletter right now. If you're not a member, sign up for that membership link under this video. And we're going to go over all this incredible money right now with the rent. Here you go. This was the number back in October. It has grown a lot. It is upwards of $40,000. Where do you get this money from? Six places. You ready? City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, State House Authority. And the key words you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage and utility assistance because of COVID. Three must, you must do. You must reach out to all six places. You must get applications on file everywhere. And you must do multiple rounds. More about those rounds in a second. Utilities, you want to get... Utility assistance for all your companies. Utility assistance because of COVID is the word you're going to say to them. SNAP, get on SNAP right away. Pick up the phone and contact Department of Agriculture. And boy, does it pay a lot. Viewers, this channel have got a lot. Mark's brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a year. Over 10 years, it's a quarter of a million dollars. Nisi and Art Sullivan showed us the importance of getting multiple rounds and multiple pots of money. They got three. Here's Nisi with three. And since then, I've told viewers, get at least three. Here's Mark at two. I said, Mark, where's your third? He got his third, bringing him to 50000 Now he's at over 100000 Lorraine, she was at 105, and now she's at 120. Which then brings us to the equation of what is a round and what is this latest round that LLA is talking about right now. This latest round would look at you getting money right today as far out as in the future as possible. Shoot for May. Can't get May? Then shoot for April. Get as far out. Rent, utilities, mortgage assistance. You want to start with the same organization you started with last time. If they're out of money, then lean on the nonprofits. They all replenish in January. And get that big sums of money. If you have a success story, send it to me on private message. I'll feature it live on air. And if you send it the last few days, I didn't respond, send it again. I'm still going through a lot of messages, getting caught up. Personal message from me to you later in this video. But there you go. Third stimulus, repeat under fourth stimulus, and they also have in there the home repairs if you live in a low-income community, and the weatherize your home. Meantime, the president is dealing with really what I have to say is a messy economic situation. I often say things when I feel it, and this is where I feel it. It's getting messy. What's at issue? Last Friday, the consumer sentiment report came out. Very bad number. Consumer sentiment talks about do consumers feel comfortable with the economy? How much you're making? How much you're saving? How much do things cost? 
it was a bad number. They were not happy. Why? Because while their salaries have gone up, the price of goods have gone up more. And they're worried about inflation. So here's the problem. We have that. Then we have this inflation problem that's getting really weird. And I'll tell you why. We initially had inflation in its own universe up until October. Then we had Omicron. And Omicron causes its own inflation because suddenly people are out of work and the costs more to run the business. So Omicron added more inflation on top of that. So the Federal Reserve came in and said, um, we had been supporting this economy too much during the pandemic because of buying mortgage-backed securities. We're going to stop doing that because inflation is out of control. That's fine, but you're a little late to the game. So now they're coming in with an interest rate spike in March. Okay, everyone was fine with that at that point. Then came today. Oh, boy, I got to breathe for this one. Breathe. <laughs> How many interest rate spikes in this year, 2022? We thought one just two months ago. Then we thought three last week. Today, there were reports of five anticipated interest rate spikes. And some reports suggesting we may have seven interest rate spikes in this year. Uh, excuse me? Five interest rate spikes at a, at a quarter basis point? This is a lot. I know inflation's out of control, but consumer sentiment is saying, hey, stop inflation, but don't destroy the economy. Is this destroying the yield curve? Is the Federal Reserve doing things too quickly, too late, too incorrectly? Hard to say, but I got to tell you, there's a lot to digest. And if anyone focuses on money, focuses on their wallet, you hear five interest rate spikes in one year, you are... Your hair is standing up higher than mine. <laughs> You're like, what are you talking about? Next, there's big concerns of the Federal Reserve. All these interest rate spikes may stifle growth. There is growth in the economy. There is business growth. But you start coming in with this? Oh, boy. Um, we have Vladimir Putin. <laughs> He's out there, you know, watching in. His invasion of Russia, his invasion of Ukraine, not happening. He says most outsiders believe it will happen. And the threat is looming there across the board. You have inflation. You have the Federal Reserve with the threat of five interest rate spikes. I can't even say it without grimacing because it just sounds so scary. You have you have um, Vladimir Putin. Then you have all this strangeness of a crypto crash that happened for a week and a half. The stock market that's still dramatically down. Worry that the corporate earnings are going to stay down. And then guess what? Americans need money. Americans need money. I got to tell you. Uh, I generally like to record when I can tell you I got one thing to deal with and I can figure out how to deal with the one thing. But the fact that I got all these things happening at the same time, inflation, Vladimir Putin, five interest rate spikes, stock market, um, bond market, crypto, all struggling, it's starting to look very messy. And I hope the messiness settles out right away. You know what would make this less messy? Getting millions of Americans who are seniors and people on disabilities a bigger boost to their monthly check. Picking up the phone, calling Social Security Administration, remove COLA, use inflationary benchmark. Do it right tomorrow, Mr. President. Then repurposing money. If there's some money sitting around, send out a check. Get consumer confidence up. Send out a check. Get them some money so they can go spend some money uh, or save some money. Number three, CR for stimulus. Put a check in the continuing resolution. Send it out. All these things help the economy because if I'm trying to describe to you the situation and it looks messy at the moment for just economic purposes, imagine what the American person, American family thinks at the moment. My salary hasn't gone up. Um, it costs more to buy milk and eggs. I hear all this confusing stuff about Russia. I hear all this confusing stuff about interest rate spikes. I know my credit card debt went up more this month. My credit card bill looks like it's more interest rates than it was last month. I look at my student loan debt. It looks like it's more month. What's going on here? It, it, it looks like it's getting more messy every week or two. This is why someone needs to come and rope it in uh, right across the board. I think it will happen. I think that we are here as a family to guide ourselves through things that are messy. And ultimately, we stay ahead of the ball. 
Finally, my personal commentary. I didn't give you a warning ahead of time in the video, but I want to give you a personal commentary tonight to end this big evening's highlight video. One of the things I've learned uh, in the last few weeks, I've certainly learned during since uh, during my time of hospitalization, since my time of being out of the hospital, is the importance of being kind, helping people. Just little acts of kindness or little acts of helping people. I want you to, in your day in, day out, try to, at least once a day, do something to help someone. It may be just opening the door and holding the door for someone walking out behind you. Or maybe the street curb is not that stable. Hey, watch that street curb. It's a little unstable. Oh, thank you. I didn't see that. Or maybe there is, um, you know, a, a tree limb that just fell in the corner. Hey, watch that tree limb. Oh, thank you. I didn't see it. Little acts of kindness. It's in day in, day out basis that I look out there and I see some people that really sometimes don't think about anything but themselves. And it's really not good, folks. They don't think about anything but themselves. They don't try to be happy for themselves or happy for someone else. And all they think about is themselves and themselves. And I want to see a little bit more kindness in the world. I want to see a little bit more kindness. And I think a little bit more kindness starts by you and us thinking just a little bit more per day about the person right next to us. There's always something. Can I open the door? Can you want, don't, don't trip on that. Can I help you with uh, getting your validation parking stamped? Can I, oh, do you need help with that bag? Just a little bit of act of kindness. It was during the pandemic that we heard about Karens, K-A-R-E-N-S, and they had a lot of different terminologies for them. But I think the perception of a Karen was someone that really just is always angry, always angry, really just angry about stuff. And, you know, in a day in, day out, I see stuff in the live chats that is there and doesn't belong. And then I see viewers who are longtime members and they may be, uh, they sometimes apologize, say, I'm just, I'm just sort of ramped up at the time. They say, um, but it's important to understand that if you feel just a little bit more inclined to help someone, maybe pick them up, maybe smile for them, then they may feel great and you may feel great. Give yourself just a little bit of time per day to do that. And when you do that, you'll be surprised how much more it'll help someone. If you're in the live chat, someone doesn't understand something, ask a question, answer the question for them. If they are in the live chat, they look a little depressed, Say, hey, I feel good for you. I, I feel good for you. I started on Mornings LA, Mornings Countdown at 7 a.m. Someone said um, they're waiting for a medical, someone said that they are waiting for a result of something this Friday. I don't want to repeat on air what it is. But uh, it was scaring the person. The person said, I'm very really scared for myself this Friday. That's what the person said, not me. The person said that. And everyone was there to help keep that person smiling. I loved it because the person looked to the family of this channel to keep people smiling. It's in a given day that you see so much anger and spite and and just sort of a negativity out there that you wonder if you spent a little bit more time on helping someone, how much better the world would be. I don't always like to use examples because using examples bring you, it brings you into a negative universe, but here is one example. I found this bizarre article, um, <laughs> article, uh, written on a website <laughs> and uh, why do i why am i doing apostrophes because it's really not a website it's you know it's some like you know go host it for for one dollar a month thing or maybe it's a free hosting website or you share the host it's free host and you know the 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 the, 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 the formatting of the website was free you bought it from a platform and the graphics are free and you just, you just oh there's a website done done and the person said Something like Third Stimulus has no money in it. Uh, that L8 is on air talking about $15,000 that people got from Third Stimulus. Um, well, they did. <laughs> they did. Um, and, the, and the person was writing, well, Third Stimulus only had a $14 stimulus check. Um, well, no. <laughs> no. But it's not so much that the person was doing this. is that the person was writing something that wasn't helping anyone wasn't helping anyone. It doesn't help anyone to write a piece about someone else 
to make profit on someone else on Allied's name for their purpose. Um, and you think to yourself, what has that person done to help anyone today? Did you did you open the car door for anyone today? Have you done anything to nice of help? And I understand that there's some people who are very deep Republicans. I understand that some people are very deep Democrats. But this was just a person who thought, you know what? I want to write something really angry. Um, good. A anger is not good. Stress is not good. You need to relieve the stress. You need to relax. You need to find that inner happiness. You need to find that happiness to help others. People that find that happiness in helping others really find happiness inside as well. I used to always mention back in the videos in spring of last year where I said, if you've had a success story, post in the live chat because it inspires other people across the board. If you've had a good day, let's end today's video with the following. If you've had a good day, post in the live chat. If you've had anything that happened good today, maybe your day was horrible. Maybe your day is horrible. Maybe you stepped in Lassie's, um, you know, stuff. <laughs> Maybe you stepped in the kitty litter box. Uh, maybe your day was horrible. <laughs> maybe Sirloin tripped you on the way into the studio. Uh, yeah, he did. But, <laughs> you know, if you had one good thing, post in the live chat. And maybe we'll have a laugh to end the day with. And that's how I hope your weekend, week and month go as well. And with that, I want you to subscribe. The 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record for a reason. We're here to help each other, not to hurt each other. And that goes also for the progressives. They need to stop doing what they're doing. These progressives just going after the modern Democrats. They need to watch the last two minutes of this video. They need to calm it down a notch and start finding it. Kumbaya. Otherwise, I'm going to take them out and just uh, buy them all 12 dollars. Like this video, 2-3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Pearl Hawk, Pearl Power, or Casino VIP. Have a beautiful evening across the board. Join me next if you're watching this on Evenings LA at 5, because guess what? We have a lot of shows tonight. We have Evenings LA at 5 o'clock. We have Evenings Countdown at 6 o'clock. We have Evenings Street and Stimulus, also called Home Street and Stimulus at 7 o'clock. And then Evenings Extra at 8 o'clock. Our shows continue at 9, at 10, 11.30 with Overnights Allied on this channel. And then we return at 3 and 3.30 a.m. with Sunrise. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful evening, and stay with Allied for more.